Glenwood hosted Hilton on a very wet and cold day in Durban. Torrential rains that poured down the evening before, causing the well-prepared fields to look like a marshy swamp. Playing rugby on wet, muddy fields gives us a flashback in history to a time before the carefully prepared surfaces that players enjoy presently, thus giving the boys a taste of some old-school rugger. Hilton seemed to adapt quicker to the conditions and were on the board through the boot of scrum half Cameron Wright. The men in white, or brown by this stage, continued to look the stronger side and found themselves 6-0 ahead in tricky conditions. Early on in the second half, Glenwood came close to scoring the first try of the match. However, the slippery nature of the ball meant a heartbreaking knock-on over the try line. Glenwood settling for a penalty to level the scores at 6 all. With time running out, the deadlock was finally broken by Glenwood fullback Cornet Fermark. Fermark's piece of individual brilliance turned the tide in Glenwood's favour as he slid over the line for a brilliant try. With Hilton on the attack, Glenwood's forwards won a crucial turnover and went on the attack once again. Impressive centre Monet Hubert charged downfield and drew the final defender to set Fermark up for his second try. A famous victory then for the Green Machine, who defeated Hilton College 21-9. We've had a tough start. Uh, well, we had two good wins, but then it sort of went downhill. And we, then we put in some good training and some hard work, and now we've brought it back up, and now things are starting to go right for us. Obviously, it's hugely disappointing uh, taking the loss, but I think that uh, our boys gave it everything today, and I think that we can actually move forward from this loss and keep going.